How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my Resident Evil 4 Remake All Collectibles Guide. This is chapter 13. We are moving on to the island now. So first up we're going to get the treasure map from the merchant. Right there. I'm trying to save the spinels to get the weapons and the weapon parts so that you can get that achievement for getting all the weapons if that's something you're interested in. So I'd keep mentioning that as often as possible. Next up, we've got the Pearl Bangle Treasure. So for this one, you're going to have to move a turret that's over here. So come around, move the turret. Watch out for all the enemies that are in this area. And right here is where you can get the Pearl Bangle. All right, so next we've got a Golden Lynx Treasure. This is a little bit further along. Over here to your right, you'll get to come across these tunnels. And you'll need to shoot this barrel in order to destroy the stuff in your way. And there it is, in this big chest. Alright, so next we've got a yellow herb. So again, starting in that same place, heading into these tunnels where we just got the golden links. Come down here and go left instead of right this time, and the yellow herb is right there. Okay, so now we've got the 13th Castellan. When you reach this area, you can go left or right. Coming down here, there's a bunch of like shipping containers, and the Castellan is right down here next to this forklift. There's also a treasure right next to this. If you just want to grab that, I'm going to show that on the map right here, but... Just for anybody who's using timestamps, but uh, yeah, you can go ahead and grab that if you're following this collectible to collectible. So all the way down, just on your right, right there. Okay, so now we've got a velvet blue treasure. So starting back at these steps, this time we're going to go left, up them, around here, all the way up, and Watch out for the explosive here. I almost ran into that. Get rid of it. Head on in. And just here in this case is the velvet blue. So next we've got another velvet blue. This is when you're heading into the refrigeration area. So through this door, immediately turn left, left again, and in here is the case with the velvet blue in it. Okay, so next we've got the Red Barrel treasure. When you reach the area with the freezer area and the dissection area, you're going to want to use the switch so that it powers the dissection area and then head to the right when you come out of this room and head into the room that's opposite you. Smash the glass case and the Red Barrel is inside right there. All right. So next we've got another treasure, which is the gold ingot. This one is in the dissection area. So when you're in the room where you get the level one key card, come out, open this door, and the gold ingot is right there. Look out for the regenerator. Uh, uh, is it regenerate door? I think it is. It's, I say that kind of weird because it's like regenerator. But yeah. The room that that guy comes out of. They're super annoying to deal with at the moment because you won't have the biosensor scope. Uh, but we'll get them soon. So now we want the LE5 weapon, which also counts as a treasure. So make sure you grab this. We're heading down into the freezer section right now. So let's go ahead and pop that open using the key card. And you've got one of these little puzzles here to solve. I can't really do these too quickly, but I'll show you the solution on screen. For anybody who is interested in uh, getting that sorted, leave it on screen for a few seconds if you just want to copy me. And the uh, weapon is inside the freezer. Like I said, it also counts as a treasure, so if you're just trying to get all the treasures, you do need to get these weapons. But also a handy little weapon to have helps you towards that achievement for having all weapons, obviously, as well. Alright, so... Next, we've got the yellow hub that can be found in the systems area. So when you come down these stairs, there'll be a few enemies around. You need to continue straight on for story mode, but uh, you just want the yellow hub. Just swing around at the bottom of the stairs, come down here and get that. 
Okay, so when we get down here into the incubation lab, this is the area where you have to take out one of the regenerators to... I guess it's regenerator. I keep saying that weird. It hits my ear really weird saying it that way. But yeah, get the biosensor scope, which is a weapon part. And you can also get the achievement for two birds, two bugs, one stone here. So you want to slap the scope onto a weapon, preferably the stingray. You can use it on the LE5 as well if you want to, although it's easier to do this achievement with the biosensor scope on the stingray, I'm guessing. Not even sure if it's possible with the LE5. So have a look for your scope and see which one of these enemies has uh, two bugs that line up. And you can kind of see where they all are. The one with the wrench had two that were sort of lined up for me. So I just sort of lined them up with the shot, took the shot, and that gets you the achievement. You can also do it from the side if you want to try and line up the parasites like that. It's up to you how you do it. But yeah, that's it for chapter 13. Hopefully the video's helped you out. Let me know if it has. Other videos are linked around below and on screen somewhere for you now. Have a great day. And until next time, take it easy.